after eons of evolutionary changes, Earth has been transformed into the beautiful planet it is today. Yet, the beauty of our planet Earth may become a thing of the past, a distant memory once the devastation of global warming occurs on a much more catastrophic level. According to former US President Bill Clinton, climate change is the only thing that I believe has the power to fundamentally end the march of civilization as we know it. Ice sheets in the Arctic, Antarctic and Greenland are melting too rapidly. The resulting rising sea levels are beyond scientists' projections. It is heartbreaking to see the penguins, the polar bears and seals gradually losing their habitats. What will happen to them now? Will they become extinct and only live on in history books like the mammoths and dinosaurs of the past? Another alarming situation of similar magnitude that has developed as a result of the rising sea levels is the climate refugees crisis. Islands have been submerged and more than 200 others are in danger of being submerged into the ocean. As a result, millions of residents on these islands have to flee their home to seek a safe haven elsewhere. Life becomes more and more desolate as the shortage of food, water and the lack of housing is the heart-wrenching outlook. The accumulated greenhouse effects the constantly changing climate that is causing instability in weather patterns, storms with strong intensity, floods, earthquakes, prolonged droughts causes the lives of citizens worldwide to become more miserable. Human life is fragile in the face of such incalculable damages. The cause of global warming is determined by the perpetual production of three main types of gas that create the greenhouse effect. Carbon dioxide, or CO2, methane, CH4, which is 72 times more potent than carbon dioxide averaged over 20 years, and nitrous oxide, or N2O, which is 310 times more potent than carbon dioxide. The major source of these gases is from the livestock industry, as indicated by the United Nations FAO's report, Livestock's Long Shadow. About 36% of the methane dissolved in the atmosphere is primarily produced by the digestive process of ruminant animals, and 64% from their urine, which contributes significantly to the development of acid rain. Livestock farming creates 65% of nitrous oxide related to human activities, the majority of which comes from chemical fertilizers. Aside from the huge amount of greenhouse gases released, the livestock industry has also detrimentally impacted topsoil and water resources in many parts of the world. Currently, the livestock industry uses 30% of the Earth's surface primarily for long-term breeding farms, but it also accounts for another 33% of globally cultivated land used for producing animal feed. Vast tracts of forest have been destroyed to create grazing pastures for farm animals. For example, 70% of the forests in Latin America, such as the Amazon rainforest, have been turned into grazing pastures. Meanwhile, cattle herds trigger large-scale topsoil degradation. Approximately 20% of grazing pastures are degraded through extreme cattle herding where the topsoil has hardened and eroded. This figure is even higher in dry regions where permanent desertification has occurred. 
the raising of livestock is numbered among the industries that use a considerable amount of clean water, contributing to the water shortage problem on the planet. 70% of the water resource is used for animal feed production. Other aspects of factory farming also cause water pollution, dead zones and coral reef degradation. The major sources of pollution are from the runoffs of animal waste, chemical fertilizers, antibiotics and hormones, chemicals from tanneries and pesticides used for feed crops. Surely we all dream of a better future for our planet. But what should we do to make that dream a reality? That is the responsibility of each and every one of us as we are confronted with the ever-increasing threat of global warming. Be veg, plant trees and go green. These are the three main solutions to saving the planet. It is now critical for our planet to have a viable solution for a clean, sustainable source which is provided to us in abundance by Mother Nature. Wind power, wave power, solar energy. Besides that, there are many activities that can save money, resources, energy and bring much more benefit to the environment, such as public transportation, walking, biking or carpooling to work turning off high-energy consuming devices when not in use, saving water, changing our lifestyle habits by living more frugally, and recycling. Our carbon footprint will be very light when we adopt these eco-friendly practices. The second effective solution to global warming is to plant trees. Trees have an important role in regulating the atmosphere, preserving water resources, absorbing carbon dioxide and limiting soil erosion. To help repair and take good care of the Earth's lungs, we should preserve existing trees as well as plant new ones. Finally, the number one most effective solution that can immediately stop 80% of global warming is the plant-based diet. It is a sustainable and most eco-friendly lifestyle advocated by many people all over the world. Being veg considerably cuts down the amount of methane released by livestock and thus reduces the effects of global warming. The water shortage problem can be solved, world hunger may be a thing of the past and the air we breathe will be purer as the forests are replenished. Being veg is also beneficial to our health. The vegetarian or vegan diet promotes a harmonious coexistence with our animal co-inhabitants who are our friends, helpers and sometimes even saviors in many instances. Let us switch to a more plant-based diet. Even better if it's organic vegan because it's healthy, it's economic it's ecological, it's compassionate, it's peaceful, it's noble. Let us envision and together build a bright future and preserve this beautiful planet for our children and their children. Let us treasure and save our only home before it's too late. Be veg, go green, plant trees, and do good deeds.